Probiotics are microorganisms that live in the digestive system and when given in high, high amounts, they've been found to benefit the digestive system and the immune system. But in this quick tip today, I want to talk about one benefit that you may not know about. In addition to all the benefits that they offer the digestive system and the immune system, here's a list of some of the additional benefits that researchers have found associated with probiotic use. Probiotics have been found to help with weight loss, to decrease cholesterol, They've been found to help symptoms of arthritis. They treat kidney stones. They've been found to be beneficial in the, in the treatment of colic, in the treatment of gum disease. They've helped to improve acne. And they've been used to treat liver disease as well. So one of the questions you may have at this point is, how do I know if I would benefit from a probiotic? So aside from having some of these conditions, um, and aside from some really dramatic digestive concerns. Here is a short list of things that will deplete probiotics in our intestine. Number one, and by far the most common, antibiotic use. If you've been on an antibiotic recently, it's very, very likely that you would benefit from a probiotic. Number two, if you've been taking a corticosteroid, if you're dealing with a lot of stress, if you've been on the birth control pill, if you're consuming tap water, chlorine has been found to deplete probiotics. And if you're eating a lot of refined sugar. So there is a quick examination of factors that may deplete probiotics. These people may benefit more. But today, I wanna to share with you a benefit that you may not have heard about. So this information comes from a paper that was published in the journal, Brain Behavior and Immunity. And what the researchers did is they took 40 healthy individuals, they split them into two groups. 20 of the healthy adults took a multi-strain probiotic, 20 took a placebo, just an inert powder. And what they found between these two groups was nothing short of a miracle. The 20 adults taking the probiotic supplement focused less on negative experiences and negative feelings from their past compared to the placebo. So in effect they had less ruminating thoughts and ruminating thoughts are a really good indicator that we're moving into an episode of depression. So today's quick tip is for anyone dealing with periodic low moods or episodes of depression or even symptoms associated with anxiety. Exploring the role that a probiotic could have in the treatment of these symptoms for you could be profound. Thanks for listening guys, I'll see you next time.